Hello, beautiful people. You're welcome back to Afro Cooking Channel, where we bring you cooking inspiration. If you're joining this channel for your very first time, please kindly leave us a comment so we can personally and properly welcome you. So today we are cooking a Cameroonian traditional meal called Kwa Koko Bible. Please don't ask me why they add Bible there because I'm still searching for that answer. <laughs> so it is basically done with cocoa yam this is the type of cocoa yam that is being used you will just go ahead and peel the cocoa yam and grate it but you know nowadays cooking has been made easy in a lot of ways there is cocoa yam that is already grated that is being sold in some areas you know if you don't want to go through all the stress you could just buy the cocoa yam and just use it straight on I personally did it from scratch so in case you're coming across this type of food for the very first time you will know the kind of coco yam that has been used you know to grate so this is the coco yam I've peeled it washed it thoroughly I am going to grate it and look at it now it's given me a very thick paste the coco yam here is actually very thick so you will need to add a little bit of water in some areas the coco yam already has water in it you may not need to add water because it doesn't need to be a runny paste it still needs to be thick but not very thick so i've added some water i will also be using some dry fish or bonga some crayfish some palm oil and some leaves cocoa yam leaves which has been shredded so i'm adding in the salt now then i'm going in with some crayfish at this point in time I'm adding in the fish and some seasoning cubes you will have to taste the salt and seasoning cube to taste it is not a very pleasant thing to do considering the fact that coco yam can really be itchy on the tongue except you're someone who is really good at estimating salt and seasoning in food so you go ahead and add in your palm oil just warm the palm oil a little to make it runny you know then you add it to the mixture go ahead and give it a very good mix you can also add chili pepper you know if you're someone that really likes some a bit of hotness you know adding some chili pepper just give it a very good mix i will be using you know some leaves to tie you can use plantain leaf which is what is originally used i don't have it in this my area so i'm using the other type of leaves Just go ahead and wrap it like you see me doing I've already prepared the pot which I'm gonna cook it in I have lined the bottom of the pot with some leaves as well so I will go ahead now and put in this already wrapped cocoa yam paste into the pot you just put some water in the pot you know through the sides of the pot so the water goes to the bottom under the leaves and then you put the food on top of the leaves So I am done wrapping, I'll just cover it to cook for about 1 hour 30 minutes and I'll just keep on checking constantly and adding water as needed. Look at it now, oh, it's ready, the food is ready, the Kwa Coco Bible is ready. Mm, the flavor coming out of this is extra 
ordinary you really need to try making some so you can get the experience yourself oh look at it so beautiful so this is it oh yummy 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 thank you so much for watching please do hit that like button and please do show us some love subscribe and share